Wow. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha and it's fantastic to have you here. I am so excited to share with you and unbox the Dark Mansion Tarot. I have been waiting to get my hands on this forever because this is right up my alley. The art style and the theming of it, I'm so excited. So this is published by Tarot Deca Studios and it is illustrated by Magdalena Coxan. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. 78 beautifully illustrated cards and easy to use 74 by 120 millimeter printed on high quality, soft, glossy, laminated paper. This is the fourth edition and so if you're aware and spot this backing here, this is a different and new backing than the previous editions. The previous editions had like clouds and stars on the back and it was really pretty, but this one looks just as pretty. I myself, it doesn't matter. Either way, I'm happy about this. So I will link where you can purchase this in the description box below. I'm not sponsored and I'm not affiliated. I purchased this deck with my own pocket book money. So with that being said, let's jump into it. This does not have a guidebook, however, so keep that in mind. This is beautifully packaged. I really like the hinge. I like that it's concise and to the point, so there's no excess packaging. The Dark Mansion Tarot Regular Edition. We've created this tarot deck for two and a half years, putting our heart and commitment into it. We hope that you will love it just as much as we do. All right, so I've already took the plastic wrapping off so you didn't have to see me struggle. And there's the bottom back. Love it. All right, and then this is like a very buttery velvet um, texture as well. I really like the feel of this and the foiling, just on point, love it. And before you um, have anything <laughs> wonky to say about the card manufacturing, um, it's like this because it was in my mailbox. It is currently a like over 100 degrees Fahrenheit where I'm at, so um, I'm sure it was sitting for a couple hours in my mailbox, so um, I'm not faulting it for this at all. Uh, it's, it's hot here, guys. Like, I'm sweating in my air-conditioned house. <laughs> so, that being said, this is awesome. I love a gold foiling edge, so perfect on that point. And let's get into it. This is the back. Okay, look at that. The perspective in that is so cool. And the detailing, oh, I wish I was that talented. <laughs> All right, so like we were talking about, it is a gloss, so there's the reflection of the ring light. And let's jump in. The border is really cool. You can see some skulls there, some bird skulls. Oh, that is really cool. It doesn't take away from the image at all either. It's very clear to see the image. I'm really loving this. I am a sucker for some Tim Burton goth style art and this is what it is giving me. I'm so excited right now. So like I said, it doesn't come with a guidebook. It is a little bit more on the expensive end. So keep that in mind when you're purchasing this. Um, however, for me, I felt like it was worth it. It was a deck that I kept seeing um, all over and I needed to get my hands on it. So again, this is why I do these videos so that you can make the decision whether it's worth it for you. Oh, I love this. Ah, the wheat, the flowers. We still have some symbols going on here. Perfect. Look at, we've got the ram, and then that looks almost like a phoenix. And I'm not going to fault the manufacturing of the cards if the foiling is sticking together, because again, like I said, it was stuck in my mailbox. Very cool. So far, they glide really well. This is giving me um, the corpse bride so much. I've got the snake up there. Oh, I am just in love with the illustration style. I love the gothic kind of feel. Oh. This is giving me life, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> look at this hermit, oh my gosh, and look, oh. 
How fun. Now I know this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, especially if it doesn't come with a guidebook or if it doesn't, you know, uh, if it's too expensive, I totally understand and I totally get this, but it was on my bucket list deck, uh, so I had to. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at the toadstools. Oh. The amount of detail in this is just fabulous. This has to be one of my new favorite death cards. How awesome. Oh gosh, what it was his name Billy Bones in the Corpse Bride, the guy that was the skeleton guy that was showing um the main character around the underworld. That's what this is giving me. Oh. Ooh, that is neat. Wow, I really like this double card. <gasps> Look at the tower. <laughs> I mean, this this has my sense of humor in it. I absolutely love all of this. This is fantastic. The unobtainable body <laughs> illustration is just hilarious to me. Oh my gosh. Frank and weenie. <laughs> oh, look at how cute. Ooh, graveyard dance party. I love it. That's so fun. And the world. Oh. Okay, and now we're on to the miners. Interesting. Huh. I love the color choices too. <laughs> okay, so um, Gangs of New York, that's what this is giving me. <laughs> A more um, genteel Gangs of New York vibe. <laughs> I'm sorry, my associations are really weird, um, but I can't help what I see. <laughs> That is a really cute eight of wands. <laughs> cute. Little hoot owl. The vibrant colors are awesome. Ooh, wow. Even these guys are getting in on it. That's so cute. We have two little worms in the apple. Oh my gosh, adorable. I need one of these dresses like yesterday. Very Oliver Twist feeling. <laughs> I think I have a sewing pattern that's very similar to this. It's way out of my um, comfort level, but uh, you never know. One day I might try to <laughs> take that on. <laughs> Cute. I really like this one because there's a bunch of like picture frames up on the wall. She's reminiscing about better times. Like this is just really a really good representation of the card. And the ghost. How cute. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Aww. He had to break out the linen suit, didn't he? <laughs> the cardstock also feels really good. Like it doesn't feel too flimsy. It definitely feels more on the higher end of quality. It's thin, but it's not too thin. So I'm really interested to see how it shuffles. I have a feeling it's gonna shuffle amazingly. I am in love with all of these outfits. Oh, the pearls, yes. <laughs> His face, I don't know. <laughs> it's almost like he's just thinking way too hard, but like trying to act like he's not thinking. I don't know what I'm, what I'm picking up there. <laughs> all right. That's really cool. It's a neat representation because it's not, you know, your typical blindfold. Ooh, okay, this is amazing. So in Victorian times, and I believe prior in Edwardian times as well, I can't remember which one comes first. Anyway, besides the point, they would put, um, locks of hair or teeth or um it's mostly teeth or hair that they would put from past loved ones in jewelry to wear as trinkets or to use as like a remember um item to help them remember the loss that's really cool you can find them um find some of those trinkets around in antique stores and such but oh my gosh they're a little too creepy for my my uh <laughs> taste i like the concept but i don't i feel weird about owning um somebody that i don't knows uh, uh pieces of them <laughs> but it's just a really cool concept that's still done today just not as widely popular it was like a trend back then Sorry, me and my tangents, but I really liked that card. That was a very cool Three of Swords. <laughs> okay, now he needs to go to the local railroad. <laughs> Twist his mustache a little bit. <laughs> this, I've seen this card before. I really like this one. That's a cool nine of swords. Like, I mean, that's really awkward to say there's a cool nine of swords when the energy is, you know, anxiety and nightmares, but this is a really cool representation of it. What's really neat about this whole thing is this whole deck is that you can visually see what the cards are going for, what it's representing. And that is what I can appreciate. Um, it's not just one symbol. It's not just, you know, uh, a very vague image it's like really you can see things on their faces like this one um you can see the determination and maybe the curiosity on some of the faces like with this knight of swords here like it's just very well done very impressed her facial um features on this that's exactly what i would associate with the queen of swords All right, the little last suit here with the pentacles. Love the roses. <laughs> oh my goodness, adorable. <laughs> little black cat there. Oh, this dress. I think pentacles usually always are my favorite just because they always add some form of plant imagery in it. Oh my goodness, I love. Cute. 
cute. <laughs> Look at this little wee one right over here. Oh, oh there's another one. Love the colors, just love it. Ooh, we have a coming soon. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. well, I will definitely stay tuned because this looks amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and see how these shuffle. Yeah, I like it. All right, let's try it this way. Yeah, they glide really well. They're not sticking. And by the way, they didn't stick together at all, even though I thought that they were going to stick because of that glossy coating and because <laughs> they were stuck in my mailbox. Yeah, they weren't sticking together. They pulled apart easily. Um, they glide really nice. I really, really like this deck. I can't really say anything negative except for one thing, and that is there is a huge lack of diversity. However, I can understand from maybe the time point that they were doing it in, but that's always going to be one of the things that I, I kind of look for and I um, will call out if I don't see it. So that being said, that if that's the only negative thing, that's pretty good. However, it's still, you know, it's still an issue. Um, and I like I always go into detail like you guys will always hear me say that tarot is for everyone. So it's important to have everyone be represented in some way, shape, or form, inclusivity, etc. However, I know that, you know, it's artist interpretations as well. So that being said, I'm going to get off my little soapbox, but I'm really impressed with the art style. I'm really impressed with how they captured each energy of the card. Um, but again, th this doesn't come with a guidebook, so uh, keep that in mind when you're purchasing. I'm not sure if there was a PDF. There might be a PDF that you can download. However, I didn't see anything um, in my emails. I'll double check. Um, if you don't see a comment from me about it, just assume that there wasn't a PDF file. So with that being said, do you own this deck? What do you think about it? Um, what do you use it for? Is it your everyday deck or do you bring it out for certain occasions? What do you use it for? Um, if you own it, are you excited about it? Do you love it? Do you not like it at all? Um, and for those of you who are just seeing this for the first time, what are your thoughts and opinions on it? I think this retailed for $68. So uh, keep that in mind as well. <laughs> But um, with that being said, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this particular deck down in the comment section below. Please let me know what you think. And don't forget to check out the links in the description box to my merch and to my Patreon. And if you sign up for any of the tiers of my Patreon, you will be the first to see all of the videos as well as exclusive content and more rewards. So go check that out. And as always, Thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending your time with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you'll never miss an upload from me. All right, everyone. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.